I'm Alan Baker, your host, and you're at home. Hello and welcome again to At Home. I'm your host, Alan Baker, and uh, very excited about our guest today, Mr. Mark Behrens. Mark, good to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here. And uh, Mark and Wendy own uh, Shutters and Blinds here in Clarksville. You guys are right on, uh, what is this, 441, I believe? Historic 441, North Georgia Shutters and Blinds. North Georgia Shutters and Blinds. And, um, you know, a lot of folks... Um, uh, really don't think in depthly about shutters and blinds. It's one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you today because there's really, um, it's, it's just amazing how many different options that folks have. And uh, a lot of folks don't really understand the importance of the shutters and the blinds uh, installed in their house. And of course, we're going to touch base on some of that today. But Mark, uh, begin, if you will, uh, letting us know just a little bit about um, the, the different options that folks have. I mean, we have um, you have blinds, you have uh, shutters, you have, uh, you know, you hear about honeycomb, we hear about um, uh, the, the different um, shades, whether it be wood or metal. I mean, there's just so many different options out there. How does the consumer really um, pick the product that's right for them? Well, we like to go into people's homes or bring them into the showroom, one or the other. Mm -hmm. And we like to talk to them on what their needs are. What, what exactly are they looking for? Are they looking for... Uh, privacy? Mm -hmm. Are they looking for shade from the sun? Are they looking for uh, relief from the, the heat of the sun? Mm -hmm. uh, there's, so there's many different aspects we, we look at on that particular thing. So we listen to what they have to say. And then we also uh, look at their windows because their different windows can uh, lead to different kind of window treatments that would work well for their situation. Okay, so uh, so the homeowner's uh, situation in their house is really going to kind of dictate uh, maybe what product lines are available to them, uh, but also their needs, whether it be aesthetic or functional. Now, uh, how can a blind be functional? I mean, I know it can block the sun, but but really, what other function would a blind have? Well, the uh, you'll see a lot of the homes, the older homes here, they'll have the small mini blinds and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And if you go with the newer blinds, they're a two inch blind or a two and a half inch blind. So in, in a blind like that, you can get a lot more view mm -hmm. out of the, what your, you know, your view outside for the mountains or right. whatever might be out there. Mm -hmm. uh, also, and it gives you the same amount of privacy. Also, it's a lot easier to clean. You can, right. put, uh, you can put one of those Swifters in there and you can clean it up real nice right. uh, without much maintenance. And they'd have different list systems that you can get that you don't need to have uh, the cords on them right. on uh, like a, a light rise type situation. So that right. adds to a uh, cordless situation. So well, I'll tell you what, let's begin. Um, you know, when, when you think of blinds, uh, most people think of those little cheap white blinds that you can hang up and they've got all the little blades in there and uh, you know they'll get tore up from time to time uh, and I know that we have several examples uh, here in the shop uh, there's a lot of different materials that that they utilize for those blinds for instance the the blind that's behind us here um, uh, with the different blades now what all different types of materials are utilized in that style of a blind well that's a full wood blind and full mm -hmm. wood is a composite mixture and in composites you can get a different uh, price points with them because of the amount of uh, resin that might be in there. Less resin, mm -hmm. it's going to be uh, uh, a cheaper blind, less okay. expensive blind. Okay. And then the nicer ones are going to have a, a, a mixture of maybe it's resins. Maybe some of them use sawdust that they make it a lot stronger and okay. uh, well, better in the heat. Right. With the sun pouring in on your blinds, sometimes you've probably seen them how they kind of uh, wave and okay. on there. So the, when it's a nice composite, it's not going to do that at all. Okay. So, and the difference between uh, uh, composites, and then they have wood blinds also. Mm -hmm. And in a wood blind, it's going to be, uh, you can get down to a one inch, but mm -hmm. most of them are two inch that you see now. Mm -hmm. But the two inch blind uh, will have less strings in it in a uh, wood one because it's okay. lighter than a uh, full wood. Okay, so, so you, you kind of get, you, you start gaining some aesthetic value, not only with uh, the great textures and the colors that you get, with the, the graining that you get with the wood, but also, uh, you don't have as many strings hanging in the blind, so mm -hmm. you, you begin to get, I guess that would improve on the view as well? Yeah, it would, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so, now, do they use a lot of different types of woods, or, or? Most of them are made out of basswood, and they're stained mm -hmm. different colors. 
but you can get, which is a, a nice feature for this area that we're in, you can get a knotty pine. Okay. And uh, that'll match up to a lot of the sidings that, that might, it's knotty pine that you might have in the house. Mm -hmm. And it'll have knots in it, and it has a right. very nice look to it. So, but that's about the, they, they, you can get them made in cherry and other things, but it's, you're getting upgraded quite a bit then right. by the time you do something like that. Right. Now, uh, not only with the, um, uh, with the blade uh, blind, I guess is what you would call it, but you, all, you also have uh, this product that, that I know you've, you've become pretty excited about and I was really intrigued by, and that is the honeycomb. Uh, explain that to me just a little bit. I know we've got an example right here, but uh, explain uh, why this is such a great product for the homeowner. Well, the honeycomb is a, a, a shade, and that goes up and okay. down, and you don't have the view like on a blind when you can open up just for a view on a blind. Right. But that goes up and down and it pretty much goes away to nothing with the cassette they have mm -hmm. and we'll show you one of them. Right. And the uh, the nice thing about the sample that uh, on the honeycomb like this, this is uh, a light rise that has no cords on it, mm -hmm. but this comes down, but it, when you push it up, it pretty much goes to, to nothing when, yeah. when, Actually, uh, yeah. Yeah, when yeah. you have it. So you have a nice clear view of the mountains pretty, and stuff. Pretty streamlined. And then when you pull yeah. it down, it stays in place or it's, if you want to. Yeah, it stays. So that's, that's what you were talking about when you're talking about the cordless. Uh, that's so a cordless. There's no cordless I mean, there's no cords hanging around, which can be a danger. And uh, certainly they don't they don't look good hanging around it. So well, it, um, there's, uh, there's more and more things, you, uh, the companies and laws we're running into with cords uh -huh. and having cords being taken away. Now, I, I know uh, as you look into the side of the panel here, um, uh, you can see the honeycomb feature, uh, which is, I guess, where the where the uh, shade gets its name. But uh, uh, this is really um, uh, a unique product in that it's not just just has aesthetic um, value, but also has some energy efficiency value to it as well. Well, it uh, it has tremendous uh, energy efficiency. What happens here is, just like your window, when they went to two panes of glass, right. They increased your R value tremendously in windows. Years ago, it was just one pane of right. glass. Okay, when they, they did that, they, what they did is they created dead air spaces. And what this does here, this particular honeycomb, and this is just one big honeycomb, this creates a dead air space here, and then it creates a dead air space between the window and the shade. So you're right. creating two dead air spaces. Now they've come up with, this is a Hunter Douglas product, and if you can see this on here, they have a honeycomb within a honeycomb. Oh yeah. So what they're creating here is they're creating one, two, three, four dead air spaces. So this actually in the, the honeycomb like this can actually double the R value of your window. That's amazing. Now I know uh, uh, not a whole lot, uh, not a whole lot of time left, but I think uh, even the government was giving you an energy efficient credit. Am I? Am I they were. On? They uh, the government uh, had. Uh, Last year and this year, they had a credit that you could receive. And this, this particular year, it's 10% of what you pay to, for the product. Right. You'd get back on a tax credit. Wow. So that, up to $500. Yeah. Well, even if you're not able to, to take advantage of that, I, I think it's important to, to explain to the homeowners that, uh, you know, obviously the government sees a benefit in this, not only from creating um, a, a lower load on our energy products that are out there, but also for the uh, the homeowner, they're going to save some money by putting this product up. Well, they're going to save some money, but they're also going to notice a big difference too. Mm -hmm. With uh, uh, the if you put your hand on one side as honeycomb and on the other side, you'll notice a big difference in your air conditioning or your heating if you're wow. sitting next to next to this product. Right. And uh, it also will uh, knock the sun out, block the sun out tremendously also. Right. Which when you don't have that heat coming in. And a lot of windows up here have their their windows shining right through the through uh, their view, right. and it comes right down on their uh, thermostat. Right. Well, when you have that going on, you got your air conditioning and your heater turning on and off continually. Right. Now, you, you know, a lot of folks think about uh, blinds and shades as being a, a spring or a, a summer product. You know, trying to keep the sun out. Uh, but what you're saying is this can actually assist folks in the in the winter as oh, well. Oh yes, it can tremendously. Okay. Uh, obviously, the the colors are uh, range here. I, I guess these can uh, uh, come in multiple colors and 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 uh, really help the the homeowner in matching what they got going on in their decor. Yes, it can. It can give them a, a soft look in their home also without right. putting up draperies and other things that kind of soften up the room. 
Now, uh, this is a honeycomb. Uh, so when you pull that down, like you were talking about, you do lose the ability for view. Um, and uh, I know that there's uh, other products, such as the shade that we see behind us here, uh, which is really a solar shade. Uh, now, you can pull that down into place, and that's still giving you some of the same values, but uh, you'll have the ability to see out. Yes, it will. It will uh, block 97% in the, some of the cases, 97% of the UV rays, which mm -hmm. is a tremendous amount of blockage. So you can put that on your window and uh, it will it'll, it'll knock that away. It'll actually keep heat in also because during the winter because it's going to reflect off that. It has those kind of properties. Right. So it will reflect heat back in, but it will reflect it out in the summer. And what I like is you can still, actually with this product here, you can see how you can still see through the product. Now, um, tell me a little bit about uh, the Roman shade. I, I was just kind of introduced to that myself today, and I know that's been um, something that's really grown in popularity here recently. Well, the Roman shade is, is, is a similar product to a shade going up and down like we've talked about with the mm -hmm. honeycomb and uh, the roller shade. You bring it up and you bring it down, so mm -hmm. you have that in there. But it gives you a very soft texture and into your room because mm -hmm. you can put pretty much any kind of fabrics and a lot of the different brands in there. Right. So you're softening up the texture of your room quite a bit and it uh, gives you a very nice uh, interior look, window yeah. treatment look. Yeah, and that's the one thing I think that really uh, appealed to me the most about that particular shade was um, just the aesthetic value, uh, really nice. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's one back over there in the corner, I believe, and, and it really just kind of rolls and, like you said, softens up and becomes a part of the decoration and the aesthetic value of, of the room. And I mm -hmm. think that's real important for the homeowner. Uh, you know, so many of us, again, have that uh, uh, conception or that perception of just that straight white blind, and, uh, you know, those things weren't really... Uh, they didn't look too good, Mark. <laughs> no, no, they didn't. Uh, you'd be amazed at what some of the different colors in, in the honeycombs or in the, uh, right. the uh, uh, Roman shades mm -hmm. uh, or even in the uh, solar shades because they have designer colors in them, how that can add to your, your room and just give you some color that you might not have already in there. Right. Uh, and this is not just a, a window thing. I mean, this goes to your doors as well? This goes to your doors as well. The, right. uh, the honeycomb is actually a, quite a big seller for us on doors because you can get the cordless and you can go up and down with the, mm -hmm. that shade and you don't have the clanging that you see a lot of times are here with blinds on it. Right. Uh, so you don't have that and people like that and it can pretty much go away like you, when you went up with that shade, it pretty right. much goes away to nothing and it's not, a, not obstructing your view when uh -huh. you want that open. Yeah, and I guess with it being a fabric, like you said, even when it's down, if folks are opening and closing the door, it doesn't have all that clanging it, of the blade. It, and, yeah, it does not have that, that noise that you hear. Right. Uh, just amazing stuff. Uh, Mark, I tell you what, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Uh, when we come back, we're going to learn some more about shutters and blinds. Stay with us. CD Mechanical is North Georgia's premier provider for your HVAC and plumbing needs. Whether it's design and build plans or service contracting, CD Mechanical provides unmatched expertise in both residential and commercial settings. Hi, I'm Michael Burton with CD Mechanical. Please visit us on the web at cdmechanical.com or contact us anytime at 706-778-9498. Homestar Financial is North Georgia's premier mortgage provider and Georgia's number one USDA lender. Homestar will guide you to which product will serve you best in your financial situation. Call one of the home team today, Rick Whiting, Molly Nicholson, Corey Cantrell, Clay Christie, Renee Hood, Joyce Simmons, and Mike Cash. Visit with Homestar today at their newest location in Washington Street in Clarksville or on the web at www.theeasiestwayhome.com. Homestar Financial is an equal housing lender. Welcome back to At Home. Again, we're with Mark Barons with uh, North Georgia Shutters and Blinds. I was noticing you shirt there mark uh, why do you have sunglasses on your shirt well that's our branding we uh, our branding is uh north georgia shutters and blinds right. uh, selling you sunglasses for your windows oh i get it so that's why because so, of the, the we block the sun but we also give you uh some design features that sunglasses will right. uh, actually do for you also so we right. have some of the same features and that's why yeah well of course we wear sunglasses outside because uh, the sun can be damaging and uh, certainly obtrusive. Uh, uh, same thing with the shutters uh, that we talked about. We talked about a lot about the blinds and the shades, uh, but shutters really 
um, can offer an amazing aesthetic value. But you, you usually think of shutters on the outside of the house, or at least that's the way it was in the olden days. Why would they bring them on the inside of the house, Mark? Well, it's, it's more of a value because you have that inside. You can open and close them. You can have uh, uh, the top louvers work and the bottom louvers might not be working, so you can close half of them. Mm -hmm. You have more functionality with them when they're on the inside. A little more control, I guess, the, you can get to it. Yes. and We've got some examples here uh, on the wall. Now, why are the louvers different sizes? Is that just for aesthetic? Uh, that's an aesthetic thing. You can have like a four inch louver, four and a half inch louver here, or on top here you can have a two and a half inch. Okay. This also shows a uh, plantation style, which has the uh, stick on it here. Uh -huh. And this is a super view, where you can see right through it without having that. And a lot of times this looks nicer, especially if you have a lot of grills in your window. Mm -hmm. You don't have another line being added to that, that look. So this super view, uh, and it also give you a better view if you have a nicer view of the mountains and you want to have that look. Right. So. Now I noticed on the next panel over here, uh, we're also dealing with an archway. And uh, of course uh, the arched window is really kind of nice, uh, but I guess that's, that makes it pretty tough to, to get a blind or a shade in there? Well it is. The, when you have a, a blind or a shutter, you're actually having to move these uh, by, by hand mm -hmm. to individually put them where you want to. Uh, they do not have that it's on a full uh, half circle like this right. that you can re uh, even use a remote on it. It just it won't work. They don't have that technology as of yet. Right. What they have done with some of them is uh, they've gone to like a honeycomb and you can put this up into your arch and you can have that oh, okay. uh, go up into your whole arch like that right. and, and fill it in. And you can have you can just have a pole that you just go with this and it moves real easy up and down and closes that uh, up and down. Now Mark, obviously with the, the shade uh, following the archway there, that would be a custom cut. Uh, do you guys do a lot of custom work or, or are these standard sizes? Actually all our work is custom. Okay. Uh, we individually measure every window uh, in there. Even if it's an eighth inch difference, we are going to order that uh, to that size. Okay. And you, you'd be surprised on how the windows vary in the right. homes. Right. Oh. And, and I guess uh, you just want to make sure they get the maximum coverage and, and a good tight fit because uh, not only aesthetically, but I guess uh, from the energy efficiency side, you don't want any cracks in there, just like you don't want a crack in your door. Yes, it's, it's all going to make a difference in the final look of your product. Right. Now talk to us a little bit about the mounting on these uh, shutters. Uh, this is pretty decorative here. Now this here is an outside mount, and what we uh, on this particular example, we needed to mount, uh, mount it right on top of the casing. Right. And what that, uh, in different situations, it might be we had to mount it because of the louver size. So it wouldn't hit the window and the sash oh, or something okay. like that. Might be because of that reason. Or it just might be that there wasn't enough room here mm -hmm. on jam depth to have an uh, inside mount. Okay. The uh, inside mount is what is right next to you there, Alan. Okay. Yeah, and that, the that, that is flush here. And that keeps your casing here and it comes right up next to here. And the inside mount usually is the preferred look because it looks like it's part of the window right. and was ac exactly made that way. Right. So that's what usually the preferred look. Uh, and yeah, but I, I'll tell you, I, I mean, honestly, you guys did a tremendous job here because this really looks like it was a part of the window. It really looks like it was meant uh, to be a part of that casing. So uh, uh, some really nice work. Uh, I, I tell you, the shutters are amazing and uh, obviously the aesthetic value uh, is beautiful. Uh, really, I think what the consumer needs to plan on is uh, the depth of the blade or the size of the blade, like you were saying about uh, you know how much view they want through the the shutter, uh, whether it be a plantation or this this wider view that you're talking about. Because uh, living up here in this area, obviously, we want to take advantage of looking at these beautiful surroundings that we live in. So you bet. Yeah. And all all the uh, time, you know, we we go out and we. We measure and we look at your situation, and that is of no cost. We don't charge for that, right. just so you can get the best idea of what fits into your home the best for you. Right. Uh, good information, Mark, and, and obviously beautiful work here. Tell you what, we're going to take another quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll begin talking to uh, Wendy about some window dressing, so stay with us, will you? Oh, you know it's Deal Armstrong. You better wake up. Freak out. Oh, yes, yes. with 
all the deals, discounts, and promotions from North Georgia businesses over at DealArmstrong.com. Also, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Just as the source of any great river is its headwaters, the source of a great experience in real estate begins with the right people, resources, and expertise. At Headwaters Realty, we offer exceptional service, extensive market knowledge, and leading technologies. Contact one of our team members today to help you through this rapidly changing marketplace. Whether buying or selling real estate, make Headwaters Realty your realtors of choice in Northeast Georgia. Welcome back to At Home, and we are with Wendy Barron now. This is Mark's wife, and uh, uh, Wendy, we are in a beautiful room here. I mean, uh, I know it's a display room, but it just really feels like home. Uh, what do you guys use this room for? This room, we um, bring customers back that are looking to soften their windows. Mm -hmm. That means if they have a log cabin, mm -hmm and wood blinds in their windows, mm -hmm. it can be very hard, 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 hard surfaces. Yeah, it's certainly so aesthetically pleasing in here. I mean, it's just beautiful. softens everything up. Yeah. Um, we also open it up to designers, okay. bring their customers in, and we work with designers, and they can show their customers a bigger sampling of right. fabrics. And um, the other great thing now with the internet is anything you can find on the internet, I can usually find Okay. for you okay. and get samples for you and so um, not only the consumer can come in and talk to you guys but yes. if they're working with an interior decorator they can bring them in that here they can bring them in kind of spread things out and work mm -hmm. it out hey, it's a beautiful room i'll tell you uh now this is more of a, a drapery i guess is what you would call this uh does this work in conjunction with some of the shades and the blinds or is this a standalone product uh it's both okay this will be your first vertical Okay. So this is before blinds and shades and all the new innovations that have come up with for window treatments. This was the very first. Right. And so you can get them to cover a big patio expanse or um, larger picture windows. Okay. Or you can leave the picture window open and just use this to add some color, some texture, and just use it as um, side panels. Okay, now I noticed that we've kind of concentrated on the, the green to kind of run a uniform room here, I guess. But really, yes. the colors and the patterns, uh, is there any limitation? None, and your imagination. Right, right. So, and I guess if, uh, if folks have something that they're working with, you know, a lot of folks buy a couch. And that's what they build their living room around. Uh, you, I guess they should bring in maybe a pillow casing of that. You guys can kind of run with it, huh? Yes, and that is great. If you've already got a fabric that you're working with, mm -hmm. um, what we tell people is paint can be changed. So right. paint should be last. Right. Start with fabric because it's a little more limited as far as um, trying to get different color and texture right, going. Right, and it's not as easily changed out. Like it Correct, is. and that right. is going to be a lot more permanent. You're right. not going to change this out in a year or two. Right. These will be here for many years to come. Right. So. Uh, of, of course, you, you not only the aesthetic value, but even with the draperies, we're still uh, maintaining the uh, energy efficient value as well. Yes, it's, it's anytime continuing. you create a dead air space. Right. Is uh, when you're just creating. some really neat stuff. You know, it's, it's really come a long way. I mean, they getting pretty mm -hmm. ornate and you don't just uh, um, you know go to the cheap dollar store and, and buy the little metal rods and <laughs> stick those right. on the wall anymore. I mean it's it's, it's getting kind of complicated for a guy like me. I'm sure the, uh, you understand this a lot better than I do but it's, it's pretty ornate really. Yes it is and you know you can spend more time on the hardware than you do on the draperies. Once really? you've picked your fabric and a style that you like and that's why we have so many styles so you can kind of see, well, this is sort of my lifestyle, mm -hmm. um, like puddling. When you puddle a drapery, if you have pets, if you have children, toddlers, it, it just doesn't work because okay. you be constantly dressing them. Now, you'll have you to excuse me. When you, when you say puddling, that's a word <laughs> I haven't heard yet. That is the draperies are one to two inches uh, puddle down the floor. Oh, okay. Usually you get a drapery so it's a half an inch off right. of a carpet or a hardwood floor. Okay. Um, but puddling, it's beautiful and you see it in all the designer magazines. Right. However, it's not as functional. It may as not be for, for your, your lifestyle. lifestyle That's setting. right. That's mm -hmm. good. So you can kind of help them through that, I guess. Exactly. Uh, this is obviously some, some grommeting and thing, which mm -hmm. I know is a, a, a pretty big um, uh, design feature now. That's a lot of folks really like that where the where the blinds kind of uh, mm -hmm. fold up like this. Mm -hmm. uh, but do they they still use the rings still as well? Still use the rings. Mm -hmm. And these are resin. Mm -hmm. So you can see they're a little heavier. Oh, yeah. But you can get them bigger. 
Um, wood is usually a two inch. Mm -hmm. You can get different styles, different colors. Most of the finials, these are finials, and these go on the end of the drapery rods, right. uh, are made out of resin nowadays, unless you go with the uh, metal. Okay. The, now, do they okay. still do they, do they still run the uh, uh, do, do you still run the rod through fabric? I mean, do, do they do they? I know we're talking about different ways to hang here, but do yes. you actually still just drape the, you the can. fabric over? Okay. Yes, so and that way right. you can still use um, a metal rod, uh -huh. and you can still get a traverse rod, which is pretty. I mean, that's been around since yeah. the 30s, so right. you can still get that. Um, some of the more modern things are going with the rings, and even. Um, using tie backs, you can use oh, these wow. in really decorative ways. You right. can hang hang swags of fabric. You can just use rings of fabric and kind of drape it. Right. Um, you know, like this would be across the wall. So starting you to can sound just, pretty complicated just, for Again, me. it's I, just see, your imagination. Just, you know, I just nail it up. It's amazing. I mean, really, uh, when you start talking about the aesthetic value, you can just kind of run with your imagination mm -hmm. here. Uh, beautiful stuff, Wendy. Thank you. And I know that You're welcome. Uh, you look forward to working with a well, Mark, I, I tell you, a lot of information today and uh, really some great product lines. And, and um, you know, I don't guess there's any industry out there that's, that hasn't been touched by technology. Uh, even the shutter and the blind business. And uh, one of the things that you've shown me today that was really kind of unique, and you know how us guys like our remotes, uh, is that a lot of this thing can be controlled remotely. Uh, but that's really a functional idea when you, you know, a lot of these two-story homes got windows that are really high up, and uh, it's kind of hard to, to get to those if they've got shutters or blinds in, in those areas. Uh, but uh, even now, they've got motorized products, right? They have motorized products for any of the ones that we've so shown you so far. Uh, the honeycomb is nice on the interior because you can rem uh, remote control that and go up and down with that. Mm -hmm. And it can block out the light, especially in you know, a lot of these homes with the, the taller windows up right. on the tall walls. And I've seen, we've had shutters up there also that you can operate the shutters or the louvers okay. open and up and down and blinds. So you can have that a situation where where you have uh, them way up in there and you can open, uh, just operate them opening and closing. Right. We've also have, uh, in the solar shades, we've also um, put uh, remote controls in them. Right. That you can, you can, we've actually done a whole side of a building with that 24 by 16. Okay. And uh, they had a bunch of windows on there and wow. we were able to, to remote control that. Or we can, uh, just a small one like we have in behind us, we can have uh, remote controlled also. So. And we can run, you can run 10, 15 shades off of these remotes if you want. <laughs> so you can, you can hardwire them or you can have them battery operated. Okay. Uh, there's different ways to do it and different cost uh, price points that you can do with that. So right. there's many different ways to achieve that. And like, as you know, and being realty, there's, there's a lot of houses with what height windows way up and what do yeah. you do with them? How do you get to them? Yeah, that so. remote would really come in, in handy, mm -hmm. uh, reaching those spots. So Mark, I tell you, uh, thank you so much for having us in your store today. And uh, just want to let the folks know how they can get in touch with you. Uh, they may want you to come out and take a look at their property and see what uh, maybe you guys can do for them. Uh, how would they get in touch with you? Well, we are, uh, we have a showroom here at the corner of uh, uh, old Historic 441 and Robertson Loop Road here in Clarksville. Mm -hmm. uh, our showroom is open from 9 to 5, uh, Monday through Friday. And then uh, we're open Saturdays. If you just give a call and make an appointment, we'll gladly be here. Or if that 5 o'clock you need to stretch that a little bit, we're here also. But uh, we also make in-home consultations that if you call us up, we can, we'll gladly Give, you know, come out to you and, and show you everything in your home. Right. Uh, we, which we do like, we do before, even if you come to our showroom, we do come to your home because we like to have you see everything in your lighting. Right. And, uh, and to measure, of course. Right. Got a phone number the folks can call you at? 706-839-0602. Uh, All right. Sounds great. Mark, thanks again so much and appreciate Thank the you. Wendy uh, with Northeast Georgia Shutters, Shutters and Blinds. Appreciate you being with us today. Mm -hmm.